Hi, Keith Van Wimmer, Van Tech Consulting. We started working on a video on uh, these guys, visual fault uh, locators and the various types, you know, 30 milliwatt, 35 kilometers advertised, 20, you know, ones, so on and so forth. And as we were going down the road and started on that video, we realized that we've never had the discussion on what is in these guys. And so basically, um, most people don't understand that these are actually a ferruled connection. So down inside here, there is a ferrule that we have to worry about or concern ourselves with. So if you look at this, this is the fitting. This is actually the laser on a little board there. And inside here, we do have a ferrule. Now this ferrule, um, it, it's not the same as using an SC connector. In other words, it's not typically under pressure. So these guys have a spring in them, and when they connect, they literally push. And you can see that's, that's kind of compressing. And so there is quite a bit of pressure here. And so we always want to make sure that our connectors are clean, because under that pressure, it tends to take small particles and actually embed them into the glass. Um, if it's on the ceramic contact area, it's going to shatter the particles and then spread those all over. And eventually the small particles will get into the, uh, into the glass and get squashed in there. These guys, they don't have a... Um, basically a mechanical connection into that. It just uses this small alignment sleeve. So just like a um, just like a bulkhead adapter, it has a ceramic alignment sleeve, and then there's just an adapter. And so this is just a slip fit. But again, when you plug these in, if there's dirt on the end here, and you plug this in, and I'm not touching right now, but you plug it in, and then you know we tend to turn these. And what we're doing is we're just grinding that dirt into the face of the connector. If you're not good on inspecting these, when you plug them back into your patch panel, you've got a damaged connector and now you have a problem with your, um, with your circuit. So I just wanted to uh, talk about this for a sec and real quick to show you guys what we're dealing with as far as dirt on the end of these uh, connectors. So you can use a, um, a probe now the probe, when you do this, this guy here is not designed, he's a, he's a bulkhead adapter, and he's not designed to go onto this. In other words, um, if we put him on there, there's quite a bit of um, wobble and slop on there. And so this, uh, this is a little difficult to hold it in here and kind of try and get this focused up, okay? A um, couple things you can do. I mean, it's it's going to get you into the ballpark, and you're going to see, and you can see the um, all the dirt and garbage on this uh, connector. So what we've done, because we do this quite a bit, is we've actually made our own um, adapter, and this adapter here is is designed for the specific or for the uh, VFLs, and so it minimizes how much slops on there, and so we can uh, get better better results with our inspection. So again, you can see that we have quite a bit of dirt on this one. Let's take uh, this other guy here. Now we haven't we haven't uh, cleaned any of these, obviously. So again, you can see the the crud that's on there. Um, you know, and you got you got to expect that you're if you haven't been cleaning these, um, that at some point in time these have actually gotten damaged. All right, dirt there. Let's look at our thirty. This also has an effect on the um, on the power output. You know, it's going to act as a uh, kind of like an attenuator and block light, just like a connector, and give you a problem on on uh, your red light. So you're not going to get the distance that you're uh, that you're going to get or that you should be getting. So again, you can see that all of these are are pretty dirty. Um, you can just use the standard one click to clean these. So we'll take this guy. You can see. Um, I'm already bottoming out, and so you can see where that's that's putting the um, one click straight onto the connector. Again, we'll go ahead and look at it now. Much better, but again, you can see where this connector's been damaged. Um, when you do plug a uh, a connector in, it's it's not necessarily going to damage the connector again because it's not under um, constant pressure. But do be careful. Um, you know, don't grind it in so all right so let's do another one real quick so 
again, if you want to take care of your equipment, you always want to be sure. Now that one looks like there's a uh, some schmutz right on the core. Which means that it would do um, damage right to our core, if you can see that, uh, that big um, defect there. So again, don't take these and just push them in as hard as you can push them. You want to push them in until they just barely touch, lightly. Um, make sure that you clean your connectors once you've finished your uh, VFL. And uh, make sure you inspect and clean before you plug them into the patch panel. It's not a topic that you hear a lot about, but uh, do make sure that you keep these clean. If you need to do the wet-dry cleaning, again, you can take this um, and just get a, uh, get a little piece of um, Kim Wipe or Tex Wipe, put a little uh, cleaner on there, dab this into the cleaner, click it a few times, and then that will do a wet-dry. We hope you found the video useful. Short one today. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. If you're not subscribed, again, we ask you that you uh, click that subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell. All that wonderful, fun stuff that we do on YouTube. And until the next video, I hope everybody's safe and we'll see you again. So thanks for watching.